Hello everyone, this presentation is made by Professor Devika Mutalik from Dr. D.Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. Today, we will start with a new chapter in soft skills management. Today, we are going to learn what is impression management. Now we will see what is social image or self-image. It is basically a mental picture, generally of a kind that is quite resistant to change. Self-image consists of below four types. Now, we will see importance of looking presentable and attractive. In this the first is presentable look. For instance, a person in a well-fitted and wrinkle-free outfit, neat hair, and a little makeup, clean fingernails are taken more seriously by prospective employers. Next is undity look. On the other hand, a person who is undity a tattered shirt, dirty nails, and messy hair makes you look lazy and unprofessional. Next is interviews. If you have an interview over Skype, surely you will fix your hair, wear a nice top or shirt and even a blazer. This is because you just go for a face-to-face -face interview and you want your prospective employer to view you as someone professional. Also to do all the above steps Elon should take care of his slash her internal health also. And lastly always remember, you should look presentable and not vulgar. Now next comes, right dressing and makeup. In this, the first point you should remember is, dress to impress. As mentioned in slide, before you decide to spend a small fortune on fancy attire, give it some thought. You need to consider how others will perceive you based on your outer appearance. Next comes, respect your company rules. Every company comes with different set of rules and policies. The uniformity also has a psychological impact on everyone working there. Next is right dressing and makeup. Makeup can boost your confidence. In fact 1 in 14 women worry about going out without makeup. Makeup makes you look better. We use makeup to increase the external beauty of a person. Now we will see, hair care and inner glow. What is the importance of good hair care? Washing hair with hot water is harmful because, it removes all the oiliness of the scalp which works as a protection and if, it is removed out hair will end up looking unhealthy. Now comes drying. One should not rub the hair when drying with towel. Instead, wrap your hair in the towel so that it absorbs moisture. Next is brushing and maintenance. Use brushes of good quality or combs without sharp plastic or metal teeth, to avoid cutting the ends. Now we will see, importance of inner glow. What we eat and not just how much we eat is important for a healthy appearance. The only natural way in which we can make our skin brighter is to eat more healthy diet high in fruit and vegetables. For inner glow a important aspect is radical self-care. This is basically doing things that relax and restore you after. Like taking a relaxing walk alone, getting a massage or going to the salon, or drinking a cup of hot tea over a good book are all examples of self-care activities. Next is meditate. Meditation is the best tool for self-care, and doesn't require any expensive equipment or special skills. Now we will see importance of inner glow. As mentioned in the slide one should practice healthy lifestyle. It includes, sunlight, air and exercise do wonders for your mood and mental health. Next we will see is poise and posture. This is a very important characteristic for creating a good impression on the other person. Now we will see some benefits of good posture on the body. The first is increase core strength. This is a very good exercise for your body. Next comes decreases back pain. The act of slouching may feel comfortable but after the long day you may realize that your shoulder and back is aching a little. Next is decreases blood circulation. Holding the right posture may not always seem important to most people but it does affect the blood circulation. Then comes develop great posture. Walk and carry yourself with confidence. Then comes smile more. Smiling will change your mood, and the way others respond to you. 
Next is don't be too rigid. Don't take the poise and posture too far and become rigid or too composed. It should be done in spirit of better enjoying life. In this slide we can see the different types of body language. Now you can see in this slide the meaning and concept body language. Now we will see what is eye contact. It is the first level of connection between two people. Eye contact happens even before saying a word. Good eye contact also shows the self-confidence to the other person. Next we will see the importance of physical fitness. One needs to understand the benefits of physical fitness and knowing how active you should be and maintain good health. We will see the benefits of physical health. The first is save money. Making healthy choices can reduce your RIS for many health issues. Next is increase life expectancy. Numerous studies have shown that regular physical activity increases life expectancy. Next is reduces your risk of injury. Regular exercise and physical activity increase muscle strength, bone density, flexibility, and stability. Then comes improves your quality of life. Exercise, however, has been shown to improve mood and health and provides numerous health benefits. Thank you.